So now these are very different uh, characteristics here, inertial characteristics. This one is really like, it's called the whoosh stick. Again, so with that, you can easily release, right? Mm -hmm. And then swing back and forth as if you are swinging the rope. Okay. Again, make sure the, you pay attention to the direction. Uh, the battery is too inward. Okay. Use the shorter turn, continue shorter turn. Yes. Yes, give extra shorter turn, let it go. Extra shorter turn, let it go. Even in the back swing, make whoosh sound. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So in order to have whoosh sound in the back swing, you have to use the right back more activity. Okay. Oh. You know to have this whoosh sound. It's not coming from the arm action, but rather doing the right leg and okay. throw. You are throwing it. Okay. Again. Uh, back swing is a bit too inward. Back swing is a bit too flat. That's better. Uh, inward. Inward. Yeah. So when you have active throw here, using the speed here, okay, and then throw here, yeah. but if this motion is uh, in the wrong direction, if you continue this, then you will go inward here. Okay. So you have to make sure that you, you are guiding this correctly at the beginning of the downswing, using the speed at the very moment. Okay. Okay. Again, pay attention to the start of the back swing. Okay. And then with that, guide the push okay. stick correctly. Different here. This is a lot heavier. Yeah. It's balanced. That's why I like the whole okay. group here. But and this is just a normal. It's a bit size. Okay. Now, when you swing that one, one thing you have to pay attention to is uh, at the end you either have uh, some bending here, okay. but try to minimize the bending. That means you should not rush down. Keep an extra shorter turn here. Okay. With that, wait until this motion is completed and then go okay. okay. using the shorter turn. Okay. Again, pay attention to motion of the, the orange ball there. Okay, out there. Yeah, you are moving that orange ball along the plane you okay. you, you, you are preparing. Am I trying to swing this as fast as that? Or? First, initially, just to feel the motion of the, okay. the head. Okay. And then you can increase the speed eventually. Okay. Give extra shoulder turn so that you don't fight the whip. But let it go all the way and then go down and increase the speed now. Swing. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Yes. Yes, yes. Now you're using the shoulder turn there. Okay. You're using the shoulder turn there. So these are all missiles and rockets and all the heavy artillery is here. And then smaller, 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 and the smallest here. Instead of using these uh, the handguns and the rifles here, yeah. you have to use these uh, cannons and the rockets and the okay. missiles here. That means you have to engage bigger muscles. Okay. For that, what is, what's important is you have deep, extra shoulder turn here. So turn the body enough, elongate the muscles, body muscles, and then start downswing with the body turn, and then add the arm motion instead of. So that's why the old rig is so good. Okay. If you try to minimize the bending here, that means that by adding extra short and the minimize the bending, that means you are not rushing. If the whip is moving this way here, you already start moving this way using the arms, then it creates a, good, a lot of bending, right? Mm -hmm. But if you wait until this is completed, and then let it go, okay. then you are not fighting. So you are not wasting energy to fight the perfect motion here. But rather. It waited, matured, and then <clears throat> in the downstream, you can use these big muscles and then time everything okay. and fire it okay, again. Okay. So first, to fill the plane, mm -hmm. the plane of motion, and then start increasing the effort. Add extra shoulder turn, and then on the way down, use the shoulder turn to start the downstream. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that will give you freer, freer wrist here. Yeah. Because you are not fighting. Instead of fighting here, you are just letting go. Essentially, what you are doing is you are moving the orange ball around your body. Yeah. It's not about your body motion or manipulation here. Right. You're okay. just moving that orange ball around your body. Okay. In doing that, the whole body is now harmoniously working together. So okay. it's called the orchestration. Orchestration of the body motion, right? Okay. So your goal is to move the end point nicely along the plane you okay. planned. And all you do is just to promote the good, fast motion of the end point by using the legs actively. Throw, using yeah. leg kick and then throw, leg kick and throw. All right, and uh, the mid size is the one again. Yeah, the, the longer one is too long. Oh, okay. oh so it's, okay, I thought it was a chapter. Okay, it's just the actual length of it. So they have uh, three volumes. Yeah. Uh, mid size, compact, and then the long, long one. Perfect, okay. Mid size one is perfect okay. for uh, this purpose. Yeah. So swing back and forth. Feel the motion of the orange ball. Your goal is to promote that motion. Yes, now your motion is a lot cleaner. Swing. Swing, swing, swing. I'll show you something really interesting. Swing, keep swinging, swing, 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 swing. Okay. Now, I will record from this side and then I will show you something. So, just a few more swings. Yeah. All right. Ready, go. Give extra shoulder turn in the back swing and throw. Okay, here. If you look at your posture, particularly toward the end of yeah. end, end of the down swing here. Go, come over here. Oh, okay. You see your leg here. Now it's a straighter and you're standing on the uh -huh. mid side. Swing. Swing. Swing, okay. Give extra shoulder turn in the back swing, and throw. You know, to maintain this motion, the standing now on the mid side better here. Still, it's not moving enough yeah. for them. And you can actually widen your stance a little bit. Okay. Because of your height, you can widen your stance. And then with that, when we have this stance here, this much room, that means you can move your body laterally, okay. more actively here. Through the back or is that right? Uh, most clubs. Okay. Only to limit your lateral motion. Yeah. There is a reason to have a port uh, two legs here. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, the stance is wider than the body. Right? Okay. So that means you have more room in the lateral direction. Okay. The forward backward direction motion is limited by the foot length. Okay. And it's limited, so you cannot move the forward backward that much. But laterally, because you have wide steps again, laterally you can increase some more motion. As you repeat this motion back and forth, that means that you have a good control. Okay. So you don't let the body go too far. Okay. If your body goes too far, then you cannot continue this motion. Yeah. Okay. So the reason why the continuous swing is so good is because Automatically, you, you learn how to control the lateral motion here. So there's no such a thing called the excessive lateral motion. Okay. When you repeat the motion continuously. Okay. Okay. And then the vertical motion is uh, done through active push and unweighting. Okay. So you should still should have a good vertical motion here. So by bringing this side up, mm -hmm. up here, and then up here, up here, uh, up here, you also have a good vertical motion and then let it okay. so, uh, so you can use different devices. Now, let's go to your club. Okay. Particularly when you have a heavy uh, head, then this is important. You have a good supination here. Yeah. And here, try to have good pronation here okay. for the right side here. So when you have uh, this motion here, you can feel the motion of the head better. 
and you are missed if you more uh, mobilized. Ah, 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 from the beginning you are moving it. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. Yes. Let it go, throw the end, throw, yes, throw, yes, extra shoulder turn and throw. So here, you see, in this motion, the key is the clever motion, not your hand motion. Right now, this way. You have to promote the good clever head motion. Okay. And then, when you can fire the muscles in the downswing at the right time, so if you sync the clever motion and the body action here, then throw here. With this you can promote faster speed. Okay. So instead of when you try to increase the speed, instead of trying to put a lot of effort there, yeah. you have to really feel the motion of the end point. Okay. And then your goal is to promote that end point motion instead of or all sorts of body motion here. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes people have the yeah. wrong image and then going <laughs> in the right, wrong right. direction. But always, the, the simple way to look at this is you are supposed to promote that's the motion of yeah. the end point. Okay. For that, you have to organize your body motion so that the, when you look at the, the orange whip motion and the rope motion, mm -hmm. now your motion is really simple. Your body mainly promotes the motion of the rope and then orange whip here. You just uh, eliminate all the unnecessary movements. Okay. That's what's important. Yeah. Okay. So develop good rhythm. And then, once the rhythm is in place, then you can start swinging more, more confidently. Yeah. That means you can just let it go. Yeah. Okay. And have a good wind up from here and then let it go. Is that all? Yeah. Using the arms here. Okay. You have to use big muscles to do a big job. Yeah. Okay. Right? So, uh, particularly when you start using the body muscles more and more, automatically the clever speed also becomes faster. And your motion becomes a lot simpler. Yeah. Okay. And then, in the end, you will just limit to maybe two steps. So uh, let's go to stage three of the two steps. Okay. So with the regular stance here, yeah. throw the club toward target and then back to back swing and then swing. Okay. Again, particularly at the end of the back swing, keep extra shoulder turn. Okay. Cool. And when, when you throw it this way, you want it about here? Yeah. Okay. yeah, but actually when you have an active motion, it will go a bit more than that. Okay. In your image, you are going about this much, then you will yeah. actually go a bit more. Okay. And it should be also rhythmic here. Right. Mm, using the left leg, push the kick, kick, and then kick. Okay. 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 Ah, that transition is too quick. Okay. Yeah. So I from agree. this motion yeah. to back swing, this is also transition here. Right. And okay. you will fight. Okay, okay. Ooh, and then wait until this is completed. In the meantime, your body is already moving, and then let it go. Ah, okay. Again. Ah, still the, this transition is a bit too quick. Okay. So here. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Again. Now try to have a really fast back swing. Yes, yes. But in order to have a really active back swing, you have to use your body well. Yeah. But if you rush it here, then it's more arm driven here. So use the body, turn the body, turn the body from here, active back swing. Okay. So everything is coming from shoulder turn. And then make the back swing faster. Uh, with that, good shoulder turn. Yeah. So when you have active back swing, yeah. let the club go okay. instead of fighting here, and then this gives you a bit longer transition. Okay. From there, let it go, okay. and everything is flowing. Here. So okay. then you can take advantage of all the rhythm yeah. you developed with okay. the these here. Okay. So in, ultimately, you can uh, work with your club yeah. and practice the rhythm here okay. using the two steps and drills. Okay. Again. So make the plane a bit flatter, aim okay. at the tall T. Yep. Uh, rushed, rushed both ways. Yep. 
When you rush here, then you also tend to rush here. Okay. So instead here, the body action then push the ground with the leg, kick, kick, okay. and then kick. Yeah, I'm not kicking at all. Mm -hmm. okay. That's better timing. Yes, that's better timing. Okay. So kick with the left leg, yep. left kick, right kick, and then left kick. Okay. So that way, when you develop good rhythm, yeah. automatically the motion becomes uh, fast enough. Okay. And you can take advantage of your body size. Right. Do not bring the hand too close to the body, right. leading like this and then turning too early. Right. Instead, use the leverage. Okay. Let it go. Okay. And then, by like this motion, you can better stand on the yeah. middle right. side. Yeah. Nice. Instead of yeah. that's why I always see this hip kind of come like back, like this yes. the, because you try to hit like yeah. with the arms, <laughs> then there's no time for the leg to uh, act. Okay. But go wind the good shoulder turn and then throw, yeah. then automatically you stand on this. Okay. So that's a, the little bit.